Councilors Elizabeth, Whitney, and Mrs. Cleveland all read. The committee retired and President Smith Rose called the attention of the meeting to the 12th chapter of the 1st Corinthians. Now concerning spiritual gifts, said that passage, which reads, No man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. He continued to read the chapter and give instructions respecting the different offices and the necessity of every individual acting the sphere allotted him or her and filling the several offices to which they were appointed, spoke of the disposition of man to consider the lower offices in the church dishonorable and to look with jealous eyes upon the standing of others, that it was nonsense of the human heart for the person to be aspiring to other stations than appointed by God, that it was better for the individuals to magnify their respective callings and to wait patiently till God shall say to them, Come higher. He said the reason these remarks being made was that some little thing was circulating in the society, that some persons were not going right in laying on of hands on the sick. He said if he had common sympathies, would rejoice that the sick could be healed, that the time had not been before that these certain things could be in their proper order, that the church is not now organized in its proper order and cannot be until the temple is completed. President Smith continued the subject by adverting to the commission given to the ancient apostles. Go ye unto all the world, no matter who believeth these signs, such as healing the sick, sick, casting out devils, should follow all that believe. Let all hold their tongues and let everything roll on. He said, God has appointed him and chosen him as the instrument to lead the church. Why not let him lead it? Why stand in the way when he is appointed to do a thing? Who knows the mind of God? Does he not reveal things differently from what we expect? He remarked of all he was continually rising. He remarked that he was continually rising, although he had everything bearing him down, standing in his way and opposing. After all, he always comes out right in the end. Respecting the female laying on of hands, Smith further remarked there could be no devil in it if God gave him sanction by healing, that there could be no more sin in any female laying on the laying hands on the sick than in wetting the face with water, that it is no sin for anybody to do it and ha that has faith, or if the sick have faith to be healed by the administration. He reproved those that were disposed to find fault with the management of concern, of concern, saying if he understood to lead the church, he would lead it right, that he calculates to organize the church in its proper order. President Smith continued by speaking of the difficulties he had to surmount ever since the commencement of the work in consequence of aspiring men, in quotes, great big elders, as he called them, who had caused him much trouble, whom he had taught in private counsel that they would go forth to the world and proclaim the things he had taught them as their own revelations, said the same aspiring disposition will be in the society and must be guarded against that every person should stand and act in the place appointed and thus sanctify the society and get it pure. He said he had been trampled underfoot by aspiring elders for all were infected with the spirit or instance, Parley P. Pratt, Orson Pratt, Orson Hyde, and John Page had been aspiring. They could not be exalted but must run away as though they care. He said he had been trampled underfoot by aspiring elders, for all were infected with the spirit. For instance, Parley P. Pratt, Orson Pratt, Orson Hyde, John Page had been aspiring. They could not be exalted, but must run away to the care and authority of the, ch of authority of the church vested with them. He said we had subtle devil to deal with and could only curb him by being humble. He, he's talking, Smith, Smith said as 
he had an opportunity he was going to instruct the society and point out the way for them to conduct that they might act according to the will of God that he did not know as he should have many opportunities to teach them they were going to be left to themselves they would not have him to instruct them that the church would not have the instruction long that the church would not have his instruction long and the world would not be troubled with him a great while and would not have his teachings he spoke of delivering the keys to his society and to the church that according to his prayers god had appointed him elsewhere he exhorted the sisters always to concentrate their faith and prayers for the place of confidence in whom god has appointed to honor whom god has placed at the head to lead that we should arm them with our prayers Let's read that again he exhorted the sisters always to concentrate their fra- faith and prayers for and place confidence in those whom god appointed to honor whom god placed at their heads to lead that we should arm them with our prayers that the keys of the kingdom are about to be given to them they may be able to detect everything false as well as to the elders he said if one member becomes corrupt and you know it you must immediately put it away the sympathies of the heads of the church had induced them to bear with those who were corrupt in consequence of which to become contaminated you must put down iniquity and by your good example provoke the elders to do good work if you do right no danger is going too fast he said he did not care how fast we run in the path of virtue resist evil that there be no danger god men and angels and devils can't condemn those that resist everything that is evil as well might the devil seek to dethrone jehovah as that soul that resists everything that is evil and if you want to read this literally he literally gave the keys of his priesthood to the society let me state that again he's already talked about orson hyde john page and orson pratt and partly for b pratt who had run away who had run away as though the care and the authority of the church were vested in them he's just accused these men of being imposters that they had run away and were acting as if the authority of the church were vested in them okay, and smith says he said we had a subtle devil to deal with we could only curb him by being humble the world would not be troubled with him a great while seems to be predicting his own death and would not have his teachings he spoke of delivering the keys to this society and to the church that according to his prayers god had appointed him elsewhere he joseph smith just delivered the keys to this society and to the church saying at best the uh, the society was in charge of the of the church let me read that again he said as he had opportunity he was going to instruct the society and point out the way for them to conduct that they might act according to the will of god that he did not know as he would have an opportunities of teaching them that they were going to be left to themselves that they did not long have him to instruct them that the church would not have his instruction long and the world would not be troubled with him a great while and would not have his teachings he spoke of delivering the keys to this society he said he delivered the keys that he held to that society or the, the delivered the keys of the church or the priesthood to this society exhorted the sisters always to concentrate their faith and prayers and place confidence in those who were going to lead after his instructions you will be responsible for your own sin it is an honor to save yourselves all are responsible to save themselves